Hello dear friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Chemistry Aspirant. Now in today's lecture, we are going to learn about the effective atomic number or ENA rule or it is also called as an Cervic rule. Effective atomic number is a common term which is used in the coordination chemistry to predict the stability and the formula of the coordination compound. So in this video, we are going to know about how we are going to predict the stability and the formula of the coordination compound. I request you to kindly watch this video till the end. In 1920, Sidwick studied several complexes compound and he observed that the total number of electrons present in that coordination compound around that central metal atom is equals to the total number of electrons present in the noble gases or the inert gases. So, on the basis of this, Sidwick given the statement for the effective atomic rule. The central metal atom or ion continue to accept the electron pair till it attain the electronic configuration as like the noble gas. That is the central metal atom accept the electron pair so that that complex will achieve the stable electronic configurations it means the total number of electrons in that complex is equals to the atomic number of that noble gas. We will simply summarize this theoretical statement into the simple form. So, here I have shown the effective atomic number is equals to the total number of electrons present on the central metal atom plus total number of electrons which is donated by the ligand. So, Sidwick predict that the effective atomic number for the complex is equals to the atomic number of this noble gas, then that complex is a stable complex. So, simply you must remember the summary of this effective atomic number. So, to calculate the effective atomic number, we have a very simple formula. Effective atomic number that is An equals to z minus x plus y, where z is actually the atomic number of the central metal atom or ion, x is the total number of electron loss or gain by the central metal atom or ion, that is actually the oxidation state of that central metal atom or ion, while y is the total number of electron donated by the ligands. So, you just remember this formula that is EAN equals to Z minus X plus Y. We can easily calculate the effective atomic number for any coordination complex by using this formula. Now, you have studied this formula. We have taken the term X. X is nothing but the total number of electron loss or gain by that central metal atom or ion. So, I will give you a one important key point. Remember that if the value of a X is a positive, then remove the same number of a electrons from the atomic number of that central metal atom or ion. Actually, this rule says that if you calculate the oxidation state of that central metal atom and that oxidation state if comes to the positive value, okay, what may be the value? Then you have to remove the same number of a electrons from the atomic number of a central metal atom or ion. Okay, we will take the example, then you will understand this key point. Now, the second key point is if that the value of a x comes to be negative, that means the oxidation state of the central metal atom comes to the negative, then we have to add the same number of a electrons in the atomic number of central metal atom or ion. Now, let us consider the example regarding this one. So, now let us consider the example how to calculate the effective atomic number. So, here I have taken this first example as an calculate the effective atomic number of cobalt in CONH3 6 times plus 3 complex ion. So, we know that we have to use this formula EAN equals to Z minus X plus Y and you know all this term Z is the atomic number of the central metal ion. X is the total number of electron lost or gained by the central metal ion. 
that is nothing but the oxidation state and y is the total number of electron donated by the ligand so in this example we will first of all calculate the value of a x or value for the x1 so for this one let us consider the oxidation state of the center metal atom or cobalt that we must calculate to know the value of a x1 so in your 11 science you already know how to calculate the oxidation state and the rules for the oxidation state that we already covered in the redox reaction chapter so i will give you the link in the description box so that you will be able to calculate the oxidation state for the coordination compound also i have discussed this in my video but again if you want the video how to calculate the oxidation state of the center metal ion i will put this video also please comment in the comment section so let us calculate the oxidation number or oxidation state for this cobalt you know that our given complex is a co nh3 6 time plus 3 okay so our rule says that water may be the we we have to calculate the oxidation state of the cobalt hence i am going to take the oxidation of state of the cobalt as an x and there is a six ammonia molecule but we know that ammonia molecule are neutral in nature hence their oxidation number is considered to be zero and that is equals to the charge on the complex ion so it is a simple basic mathematical calculation so we know that x multiplied by zero is a zero therefore x will be equals to plus 3 but what you are going to predict from this value remember that this value is a positive value for the x is it right and we are going to simply put the value here so that is actually simply the value of a x will be equals to 3 okay we'll neglect the positive sign it doesn't matter then the second point that i am going to consider here is that then the second point is that we know that the value of a z so the atomic number of a atomic number of a cobalt equals to cobalt that is the value of z equals to 27 okay and and let us consider the third important point that is the total number of electrons donated by the ligands so that is nothing but the value of a y so you know that here is the six ammonia molecule and we know that each ligand donated the two electron therefore that is equals to 12 the total value will be equals to 12 then we are going to use this formula very simple that is ean equals to z minus x plus y okay so we already have the values we know that this is 27 minus 3 plus 12 so you know that 27 minus 3 is a 24 plus 12 and that's come out to be 36 so effective atomic number for this cobalt in this coordination complex is a 36 but what we are going to predict from this effective atomic number you know that this is actually the atomic number of this 36 is the atomic number of the inert gas that is your krypton okay that is your kr and you know that all noble gases are the stable hence on the basis of this one sidwick predict that this complex ion is a stable as the effective atomic number is equals to the electronic configurations or the total number of electron as like the krypton one so this is the simple step that you are going to follow while calculating the effective atomic number so let us consider the second example that is we have to calculate the effective atomic number of a fe in the complex k3 fe cn6 so again we are going to use the same formula that is effective atomic number equals to z minus x plus y so again we know that we have to first of all calculate the value of x here we know that z is the atomic number of the central metal atom x is the oxidation state or oxidation number of the central metal atom and y is the total number of electron donated by the ligand 
so we have to first of all calculate the value of a x that is we have to calculate the oxidation state or oxidation number of the central metal atom or ion so we know that we are going to follow the simple rules that you already learn in your relevant science so here we know that if i have to calculate the oxidation number of a fe then i am going to consider the value of the fe as an x and the oxidation number of a potassium as an plus 1 because it is the first group element or it is a alkali metal and we know that the oxidation number of alkali metal is a plus 1 this is the rule given in the 11 science then the oxidation number of a cyanide ion now in this complex ion cyanide is in the form of a cn minus ion hence the oxidation number is a minus 1 so we will just write down the equation to calculate the oxidation number of a fe therefore we know that this is the k3 therefore 3 into potassium plus 1 into a fe then 6 into cyanide ion and this whole complex is a neutral complex hence the total oxidation number is equals to 0 0 therefore we know that 3 into oxidation number of potassium is a plus 1 therefore 3 multiplied by 1 we have to calculate the oxidation number of afp so i am going to take it as an x and 6 into oxidation number of cyanide ion as an minus 1 we know that this is the mono atomic ion and charge on the mono atomic ion is the oxidation number of that ion hence this is a minus 1 so after calculating this value i will get x minus 3 equals to 0 therefore x will be equals to plus 3 so the value of a x in this complex ion is a plus 3 so now let us consider the second point that is the atomic number of af we know that atomic number of af that is z equals to 26 now the total number of electron donated by ligand we know that there is a six cyanide and the each cyanide donate the two electron therefore total 12 electron so we are going to use the formula that is Z minus X plus Y. So value of a Z is a 26. Then the value of a X is a plus 3. So I am going to take it as a 3. That means plus minus become minus. Therefore minus 3. And the Y is having the value 12. Therefore after doing the simple calculations, that is 23 plus 12. That is equals to 35. So the effective atomic number of a F E. is a 35 so we know that this atomic number is not equals to the atomic number of the next inert gas that is krypton hence on the basis of this one we can conclude that this complex is not a stable complex so these are very simple steps we have follow to calculate the effective atomic number now let us consider the last point that is the importance of the effective atomic number so the first importance this rule is useful to predict the stability of the coordination complexes for example if the effective atomic number of the given complex is equals to the atomic number of the next noble gas then that complex is a stable complex now here i have taken the simple example that is fe cn6 4 minus complex ion now here you can observe that the effective atomic number comes 36 hence this 36 number is the atomic number of the next noble gas that is krypton hence this complex is a stable complex again if the effective atomic number of the given complex is not equals to the atomic number of the next noble gas then that complex is a unstable complex now here i have taken the another example that is fe cn6 3 minus then i have calculate the effective atomic number then that effective atomic number is equals to 35 which is not equals to 36 which is the electronic configuration of the krypton hence this complex is a unstable complex so now let us consider the second importance this rule is useful to predict the formula of the few complexes compound especially the metal carbonyls so let us take the example now here i have taken the example of the nickel carbonyl we know that nickel carbonyl is a neutral complex the atomic number of nickel is a 28 and the nearest noble gas that is the inert gas is a krypton which is having the atomic number 36 according to the effective atomic number rule to achieve the 36 electrons around the nickel atom 
nickel will require the total 8 electrons. So, we know that 36 minus 28 that is equals to 8. Again, we know that each monodentate carbonyl ligand donates the 2 electrons to the nickel. We require the 8 electrons and each ligand donate the 2 electron. Hence, we will require 4 lone pair, the 4 carbonyl ligands. So, on the basis of this effective atomic number rule, we can predict the formula of this complex. So, that will be equals to NiCO4 times. So, this is the importance of the effective atomic rule. Now, in the next lecture, we will calculate the effective atomic number for the different complexes and we will try to predict the stability and the formula for the different complexes compound. Hope you will like this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in my next video.